Hey, Sam here, and this is the Yun ZAL66. It's a 65% aluminium keyboard priced at 100 US dollars. In the box, there's a quick start guide for the AL66 in multiple languages, a Yun Z thank you card with their information on it, extra Mac OS keycaps so you can switch them out, and a smaller box of accessories with a 2 in 1 switch and keycap puller and a Type A to Type C charging cable. The keyboard comes properly packed with some plastic and a hard shell cover with foam included to protect the keyboard. The case here being aluminium makes it heavier so it's around 1.1 kilograms or 2.4 pounds. The AL66 has a 65% layout with a knob on the top right and some indicator lights next to the arrow keys here. Here is the side profile of the keyboard. You can see the side RGB strip and the cherry profile keycaps that come with the keyboard. And this is how the other side with the knob looks like. The case appears to be anodized and the finish is great. It doesn't show any fingerprints or smudges. On the back left corner is where you will find the Mac and Windows switch, the Type-C connection port, the tri mode toggle switch and the 2.4GHz USB dongle tucked in here. On the bottom, there's just 4 rubber feet and access to the screws holding the case together. The keyboard comes with perky RGB which looks nice. As for the RGB effects, you do get quite a few already programmed into the keyboard and here's how it looks. The RGB on the side also changes accordingly if you're wondering. Besides the RGB, the keyboard can also be configured with the AL66 keyboard software. You can set different profiles, configure all of the keys and layers, adjust the lighting effects even more, and set up macros as well all in the software here. So moving on to the keycaps. The keyboard comes with double shot PBT cherry profile keycaps. They look great with sharp legends and the color seems nice too. Honestly, I like the keycaps included but I would prefer if they were thicker because they're only at 1.2mm in thickness. The knob is removable and replaceable. It looks like this and it has an inner diameter of 6mm. So do keep that in mind if you plan to change out the knob. The switch included here is the Yunzi Milk Linear Switch. It's a pretty light switch with an operating force of 45 grams and bottoms out at 50 grams. It does come with factory loop so it's decently smooth. And the RGB does shine through it nicely because of the transparent polycarbonate top housing. The PCB here is great, it's 5 pin hot swap and has a south facing layout. So most switches will fit and there won't be any problems with keycaps. The included plate mounted stabilizers come like this, they are looped and tuned and I really like how they are, there's no rattle and sound great during use. To access the components inside, you just have to remove the 8 screws from the bottom and disconnect the 3 cables connecting to the battery and daughter board. In the case, there's 2 pieces of foam included. There's a white pre-cut foam for the back of the PCB and a piece of black EVA foam on the bottom covering the battery and the daughter board. There's also two more mods included in here between the plate and PCB. If you look closely, there's a thin piece of switch pad foam and plate from here in white. As for the plate, it's a polycarbonate plate and it's gasket mounted with these rubber sleeves on the sides of the plate and it just look like this. Alright, that was all of the mods and components of the Yunzi AL66. There was quite a lot of mods included and I'm impressed especially for that price. Anyways, here's how the keyboard sounds.
So here are my final thoughts on the Yunzi AL66. It's a solid 65% keyboard especially for the price and I think that both the pre-built and bare bones kit is worth it. At the end of the day, it's just a 65% keyboard that ticks most of the boxes for me. So if you are interested in getting the Yunzi AL66, it will be linked in the description below so you can check it out. And that does it for this video, thanks to Yunzi for the keyboard and thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and remember to subscribe if you haven't, even more reviews coming very soon. See you in the next one.